What do you guys notice about this page? What do you notice? Um, some numbers are missing. Some numbers are missing. You are exactly right. Well, what does the rest of it look like? Very good. It is a hundreds number chart. But, as we mentioned, some of them are missing. Debbie saw this page in a puzzle book. Two rows of the numbers are missing. Use what you know about counting to write the missing numbers. What number did we see first before we wrote our numbers? You're exactly right. We saw 21. Is that how our hundreds number chart starts? No. No, it is not. It does not start with 21, so we knew it was wrong. What number does it start with? One. Okay. So, is that the first number that you wrote? Yes. Good. <coughs> what number is right after 21? You're exactly right. It is 22. Which one is greater, 21 or 22? 22. You are exactly right. It is one greater than 21. Um, so, if the numbers after 21 are greater than 21, then the numbers before, the numbers that are missing, are all what? They are all less than 21. So, I'm going to finish in these boxes. And as I'm writing, I want you to check to make sure that I am doing it correctly and that my paper looks like what your paper looks like. Make sure I'm doing it correctly. Does that look okay? Yes. yes. Great. Okay, let's count, let's start at 1 and stop at 21. Okay, are you ready? I want to hear all first grade voices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21. There you go. Okay, very good. So first grade, each number that I that we said we went up one more. We kept going forward. Like a count on. Okay, we kept going forward and forward and forward, didn't we? So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to use our hundreds number chart to um, count forward. We're going to keep counting. So if we had started at 21, if I would have counted forward, I would have counted 22, 23, 24. Okay? So I want you to turn your papers over. <laughs> and let's read the directions. It says, Count forward, write the numbers. Can I use my hundreds number chart to help me? Oh, what do I notice? What did you notice? Oh my goodness. It goes, it goes, it goes past to 120. It goes to 120. We so we are going to work on counting past 100, aren't we? We're going okay. to 100. So, so before we count forward on our paper, I want to start.
start at 100 and count to 120. Oh, that was me. Are you ready? and then the number 10. See that? Or if I did 115, sir, you better pay attention. I did 100 and then the number 15, 115. Okay. Also notice for 101, we had to do 100 this way and then put our 1. Or for 109, I did 109. Yeah, it does help you. Okay. So, what number does it want you to start on first on that line? It wants you to start at 10. So if I were you, I'd put your finger on 10 so you know where you're at. Now where am I going to go? It's at the end of the line. Where are we going to go next? We're going to go put it on here? No, we're not. Going What's after the We're going to go to the next line, but we're going to start over on the left side. Okay? So we're going to go to 11. What's beside it? Twelve. What's beside it? And then we need one more. What's beside it? Fourteen. Okay. So we're going to use our hundreds number chart to help us. Let's do one more. What number are we going to start at first grade? 100. So you need to find 100. And what number comes right after 100? 101. So we're starting on that line now. 101. And then beside 101 is? 102. And then beside that one is 103. And beside that one is? Am I done with that line? Yes. No. How do I know I'm done with that line? Yeah, I got, my line is full. I don't have any more blank lines to fill in. Does everyone understand what we are doing? What did you notice? Wait, when we're doing this, it had two lines missing. And then when we're doing this, it had two lines going. Oh, it added two more, didn't it? And it pushed it down. Very cool. 